Hello Star Wars fans, thank you for tuning in, this is JR369. Well today I'm, I'm going to take a look at the Star Wars Elite Series, one of my favorite Star Wars characters, director Orson Krennic from the Disney Store. Let's check this guy out. Okay, so let's look at the packaging for the figure. We got the window packaging on here, and it's recommended for ages 3 plus, and the Disney store right here. And right here, we got the 30 points of articulation. We got Director Krennic, Orson Krennic. And I did got this on sale for 11 bucks. I mean, when I see them, these 12 inch figures are like $14.99, but now they're I found Krennic for $11, which is weird. I mean, yeah, it looks weird, so that's a good deal for me. And we got the warning choking hazard, blah, 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 small parts. And on the back here. Here we got the, um, we got the bio about the, um, about the, uh, the Star Wars toys right here and also right here on the bottom here is the bio about Krennic go ahead pause the video if you want to read it and also we got the both of the um, images of the of how the, the figure looks like so that's about it for the packaging let me fix my tripod there that's about it for the packaging. Now let's throw that in the back. Now let's look at the let's look at Krennic here. Now the face scope on him. The face looks. I mean, this this is my opinion. I mean, the face scope looks pretty good. I mean, it looks a lot like Ben Mendelsohn. I mean, it looks really cool. Well, um, yeah, I really do like the outfit on him. It looks pretty good. Uh, the outfit looks really good. Just the soft cloth. I mean, it looks really good. You can see the blaster on his holster. I mean, it looks really cool. The um, the boots looks nice. I and also we got the this thing on his chest. So um, yeah, I say this is a pretty good figure. I mean. Well, pretty much a doll, maybe. Yeah, pretty much. Well, a doll, I think. Well, because of the real clothing. Well, except his hair is molded. Not like a cloth. So for articulation, head can fully rotate. Well, it's hinge on the ball joint. Arms can go fully rotate. Can go in and out. Upper arm rotation. Been at the two points at the elbows. Oops. Wrist can rotate and hinge. Waist can go for rotate and up and down, side to side. Legs can go forward and back, in and out. And at two points at the knee. And his foot can go fully rotate and hinge by the ball joint and go pivot forward back. And his toe rotate. Goes pit for back, and that's about it. So, yeah, that's a 30, 30 points of articulation. I mean, you can make great pose of this figure. Well, in the movie, he does nothing, just like stand there. Now, he does come with accessories. For accessory, he does come with his his blaster. I mean, it's pretty nice detail on the blaster here. Looks really good. It does fit on each of these hands. I mean, it looks really good. Yeah, I yeah he never used the blaster until, spoiler alert, the end of Rogue One, where he's face to face with Jin Erso. So, 
it fits on his holster very well. And also he does come with two of these Can't focus. Yeah, I won't focus. No one. He does come with two of these. I mean, not two of uh, three of these things or whatever they call. I have no idea what they called. Let me know in the comments down below. See what it, they called. So um, yeah, it does fit on his holster right here. Looks good. And he also came with. Two relaxed palm hands. This is the um, the relaxed palm ha palm hand hands. This is one he is. Yeah, I put it on the 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 relaxed palm hand on the on his um hand. And this is the hand that he's packaged with, like the trigger finger. I mean, it's weird that that Disney gave us like one of those things right here for the gloves but he already has two of these I mean I really wish they I really wish they shouldn't do that like just like give us the hands just instead of those just just don't give us these things because you know it's basically the same just give us the um just the hands but leave the two things on on his hands I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a pretty nice figure. I mean, I really do like these um Star Wars Elite Series dolls. No, not the diecast figures. I'm was talking about these kinds of figures. I mean, I seen well. So yeah, that's about it. Overall, I say this doll looks really good. I mean, I really do like it. Well, yeah, I, w I really do like... I mean, yeah, it looks really good. I really do like the details, the accessories. I mean, I really wish just give us the hands and leave the two, two of these glove sheath. Just like like those, like just swap out the hands and then put the other hand and, and like that and just leave the thing right here. On, on his arm that'll be better so we don't have the same same glove sleeves so um yeah I say this figure is a pretty nice figure it is like it was like on sale for 11 bucks I got this at Disney store like I said well yeah but I when I went to the Disney store online they were like having these um elite series 12 inch figures on sale for 9.99. 10 bucks. I mean, well, their original price was 34 bucks. I was like, when I first time seen these figures, I was like, hmm, 33? Yeah. No, I, maybe I'll wait her. I mean, maybe I will wait until they on, they're on sale. And now, yeah. Well, basically, it is worth $33. For these Elite Series dolls. Well. To me I don't want to spend all my money for. A $33 for a doll. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for new videos. Every Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. And also click on the notification bell. For you if you don't miss any new uploads. And as always. Have a good day. And good bye.